arrived in the little town of Ludiac, that's how I'm going to say it, Ludiac, and the first thing we saw is this driving school, and I just thought of people who would like to drive in that sort of motor car. Answer on a postcard. But there we are, Ludiac. Place there for sale if you want to move here. And you just have to allow me to indulge myself with this shot. We've got a very good friend called Kathy. And so this, this is to allow me to pull her leg a little bit when I see her next week. We might ask her if she's got a chain of shops. I suspect the answer is no. Well, that wasn't quite what I wanted to take a picture of. Um, some people accuse me of eating chocolate from time to time. So this shop sort of fascinated me. As you can see, it's an artisan chocolatier who tells us in his advertising that he's a champion of France and vice champion of the world. Now that's quite a claim, isn't it? So I guess we ought to cross the road, if we can do that without getting run over by a circus van, and have a little look. What, what have we got in the window? Hmm, OK. Yeah, I, I suspect that the good stuff is sort of inside. Dent go in. Well, <laughs> can't go in, it's not open at the moment, but don't go in because I put on weight just looking at things like this. They do like to make their towns pretty and attractive. I'm a little bit curious as to who thought that was a good advertising campaign, Le Nelson. Um, I didn't think Nelson was particularly popular in France, but what do I know? But as we turn round, that's rather a magnificent church, isn't it? And after the grand churches that we've had a look at this week so far, it's quite something to come into a smaller church. And, of course, look at the stained glass windows. And the stained glass in this church are the Stations of the Cross. So Jesus consoling the children of Israel. And Jesus falls for the third time. see the Roman soldiers taking his clothing. So it's a simple church, but the church itself is a silent witness.
Well, that's an interesting place to park, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but we're going to avoid it.